Hi, this is Ken with Steambright Supply. We're here to introduce the new El Diablo. Finally, at long last, Master Plan has introduced the unit with a heat exchanger that has the performance, ease of maintenance, and reliability you've grown to expect from an El Diablo. I want to go through this real quick with you. Let's real quick look at the inside of the waste tank. You've got a stainless steel lift out lift basket. You've got a two and a half inch filter. Very, very nice stainless steel construction, all powder coated, baffled just right with a nice soft gasket. Ported for uh, automatic pump out to your two inch and a quarter ports. If you decide to add that later, of course they're using their their signature piece here, piece de resistance, the uh, the Kunkel valve with a 45 blower, giving you performance more like a 56 blower or close to it anyway. Uh, this is your water mixing box, of course all stainless steel. You have a uh, thermostatically controlled uh, temperature that via this vacuum control valve is, is working this actuator piston and controlling uh, with exhaust diversion uh, your heat or you have it set. Uh, if, if it happens to get out of hand, or if it go, gets away from you and hits 235 on this gauge, it's going to open up this solenoid and start dumping. If that gauge fails, you have another preset high temperature emergency shutdown here that actually kills the engine. Uh, and then, uh, man, I don't, I don't know where to, this is, uh, uh explain the last, gauges. Last yeah. step chemical injection for the first time for an El Diablo. Uh, we've got a, a Kohler uh, 27 horsepower, uh, electronic fuel injected engine, uh, reliability and, and performance, uh, comparable to no other air, no other, uh, air cooled engines that I know of. The, uh, Here's your temperature control. Here's your water in to a 3 h check valve. Here's your adjustable uh, pressure adjustment. Uh, here's your, you open this to dump your engine oil when you're changing the oil so you don't make a mess in the van. Here's your, your it's dual ported for two wands. Here's your output water ports, hot water out. Here's your tack, your tiny tack and uh, hour gauge combination. Here's your switch to turn your pump on and off. Here's your vacuum gauge. Here's your pressure gauge for your pump. Here's your switch. Turn the heat on and off. Uh, it does have a, a, a Murphy switch gauge here uh, as a backup. And here's your pre-position valve for your last step chemical injection. Of course, prime to get things started. And then once it's flush, you go to run or if you're not running it off. And here's your adjustment knob and your dryer meter. To show you where you're at. This is your blower lube port at the end of each at the end of the day, at the end of your last job, before you turn the engine off, of course, you open that, spray a little water displacing solvent in there like WD-40 or liquid ranch, whatever, and then let it run for a minute or two just to get all the moisture out of the blower so it doesn't accidentally lock up if it if it, you're, all your jobs cancel the next day. Talk about the pumps. Pumps. Uh, we've got a cat, uh, three CP uh, with the high temperature seals, it's an eleven twenty. Um, stainless steel pulse pump for your chemical injection. Uh, everything done right. One size larger hose than the intake port on the pump, which not all manufacturers do that. Uh, belt drive to the pump. Uh, Lovejoy style coupler for direct drive to the number nine coupler to the to number nine. Number eight, number eight uh, coupler, like I said, number eight <laughs> to, the, uh, to the floor. Uh, I believe using a roots blower. Explain this. That's the uh, actuator valve that controls piston, that controls the, the exhaust diversion. So you have your hot exhaust coming in from your engine and your blower blending together and, and this operates a flap inside here that either directs the hot gases directly out the muffler or across the heat exchanger coils. The heat exchanger sits through the bottom of the housing for the water mixing box and then it's vented here with an extra cover and what that's going to do is take the radiant heat off of this heat exchanger as it heats up and it's going to heat the bottom and the side of this water mixing box preheating the water like free heat that otherwise would have been wasted in the process now, up and to it's, and it's vented on both sides and 140 degrees yeah i would imagine that's either 140 or 175 it is a cat pump with high temperature seals it's probably a 175. 
you can refer to our website and uh, for that exact spec on the uh, on what they let that get to. <laughs>